The Ideal Team Player, How to Recognize and Cultivate the Three Essential Virtues, by Patrick M. Lencioni, is a book that explores the attributes necessary to be an effective team player and how organizations can foster these traits in their employees. Lencioni frames his insights in a leadership fable, a story about a fictional construction company facing challenges with its team dynamics after a change in leadership. The narrative centers around Jeff Shanley, who takes over his family's construction firm. Initially, Jeff faces resistance due to his past in technology rather than construction and because of the high standards he sets for his team. However, he realizes the key to success lies in having the right team, not just the right strategies or processes. As Jeff and his executives struggle to save the company from its internal issues, they recognize that their team lacks cohesion, primarily because they are not populated with ideal team players. The company's transformation begins when the leadership team embarks on a journey to define what an ideal team player looks like. Throughout the fable, Lencioni highlights three essential virtues that define an ideal team player, being humble, hungry, and smart. These three virtues are not only valuable individually, but must coexist in a team member to achieve the best results. 1. Humble. The first virtue, humility, is considered the most important. Humble individuals recognize and accept their weaknesses and strengths and value collective achievements over personal accolades. They are not egocentric or overly focused on their own status, but instead contribute to the overall team spirit. 2. Hungry. The second virtue refers to a team member's work ethic and drive. A person who is hungry is always looking for more, more things to do, more to learn, and more responsibility to take on. They are self-motivated and diligent, never having to be pushed by a manager to work harder because they are self-driven. 3. Smart. The third virtue pertains to a person's emotional intelligence, specifically in the context of group dynamics. Smart individuals are adept at understanding their colleagues and how to effectively interact with them. This doesn't mean intellectual smarts, but rather it reflects a person's ability to read a room, understand team interactions, and handle delicate situations with tact. Lencioni emphasizes the synergy of these virtues, explaining that a lack in one area cannot always be compensated by strengths in the others. For example, someone who is smart and hungry but not humble might be seen as a manipulative team player. Similarly, a humble and smart individual who lacks hunger might avoid challenges and being fully engaged, while a humble and hungry person without smart interactions might unintentionally alienate team members or miss social cues. To find the ideal team players, leaders, and human resources professionals need to look for these virtues during their hiring process. The author suggests asking specific questions and observing behaviors that reveal what degree these virtues are inherent in candidates. For instance, during interviews, leaders should ask about times when candidates had to work hard, sacrifice something, or collaborate with others. Doing so provides insights into their level of humility, hunger, and people smarts. Moreover, Lencioni advises that beyond just hiring the right people, it is crucial to cultivate these virtues in all employees. Employers should promote a culture where these virtues are celebrated and provide constant reinforcement, training, and development for their team members. The leadership fable concludes with Jeff and his team members implementing and observing remarkable improvements in their company's culture and productivity as they apply the principles for identifying and developing the ideal team players. By focusing on nurturing these virtues, the company's teams became more effective, cohesive, and capable of achieving their goals. Lencioni doesn't stop at outlining virtues. He also proposes methods to cultivate and reinforce them, such as through performance management systems, mentoring, and team-building exercises. Leaders are encouraged to reinforce these virtues daily in their interactions with their team members, ensuring they themselves are examples of the ideal team player. Lencioni also touches upon dealing with employees who don't embody the three virtues. He suggests that leaders should first work to help these individuals develop the missing virtues, but also be prepared to let go of those who cannot or will not adapt to what is required of an ideal team player. This tough decision is crucial for preserving the integrity of the team and ensuring sustained success. Ultimately, 
The ideal team player serves as a guide for both leaders and team members. Leaders learn how to recognize and foster the required virtues in their team members, and individuals are taught how to self-assess and improve their contributions to successful team dynamics. Lencioni's book offers a straightforward framework that can be applied across various industries and team sizes to create a cohesive and high-performing environment. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.